scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. God, Almighty God. did not come upon us we thank you for preservation we thank you for your grace we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your faithfulness 
Lord, we thank you. You are dependable. You are reliable. Waymaker, miracle walker, promise your testimony to him we make miracle was keep us promise keep light in the darkness hallelujah father people call this year many names but the name you gave us you demonstrated that it was so we thank you we thank you for us as a family, we have seen your hand, we have seen your majesty. You have multiplied us, you have increased us. Thank you for your grace. That is who you are, truly. That is who you are, not a man. That is who you are. Lord, you crown our year with goodness and we thank you. We thank you. For those of you who what we are doing seems strange, this is the secret behind the finger of God. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things except God be with him. There is no level of intellect. There is no level of wisdom. There is no level of human science that is capable to do this. Father, we are not ashamed. Be glorified. Be glorified. Joshua Selman is nothing without your wisdom. Absolutely. 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 Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your word. Thank you because you are true, dependable, reliable, faithful. We return thanks. We return thanks for sparing our lives, for triumphing over death, over sickness and infirmity, for turning the lives of people around. Thank you. Thank you for transforming millions around the world. Thank you for giving our teachings wings to move beyond the limitations of time. Thank you for the prevailing power of your word, for access to the mysteries of the kingdom. Thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for wealth and prosperity. Thank you for the effectual walking of your grace. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. You see, our our generation is a very arrogant generation we are very embarrassed whenever the spotlight leaves us whether it is to god or to any other person we frown at it there is such a crave in our generation for power for honor for recognition so when times come like this when we all become ushers to bow before the king sometimes because of our little achievements here and there, we pride ourselves into believing that it was a product of our wisdom. But every wise man who knows God 
knows how weak a man is when you see god's result separate the man from the result this is the finger of god this is the finger of god this is the finger of god 45 nations of the world this is the finger of god light in the darkness that is who you are jesus thank you when you speak it is within your power to make it happen forgive us for our unbelief forgive us for thinking you are a man you are god the creator of the ends of the earth I wish I told you people to rehearse this song. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? The name above every other name. to you just take your eyes away and with childlike foolishness say lord i believe if god tells you i am lifting you on the wings of eagles say lord i believe don't ask and say who is my uncle uh -uh. i believe i believe this ministry is a testimony of what god can do when he finds men who can dare to believe him jesus we give you the praise in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord let's honor our worship team come on absolutely 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Look, guys, I am so proud of you. You do not imagine. I was talking to a Jimmy and said, look, very soon, we're going to start our own record label. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll make it happen. And by the Spirit of God, it will bless the nations of the world. And you have the opportunity to go around the nations of the world and be a blessing to the body in the name of Jesus. Let's honor them one more time. Thank you. Manasseh is with us today. Bless him. The bishop is around. Hallelujah. Bless you, sir. Thank you so much. I want to welcome everyone. We'll be very brief tonight. We're going to pray. I want to start tonight. Um, I'm going to give us a very strong admonition which also doubles as an instruction so please be ready to write the lord put this in my heart to share with us it's been a wonderful year and god has been faithful but let me remind you that the year is not over like bishop david oyedeko will say he made the heavens and the earth in seven days i don't care whether it's prophetic seven days or real seven days my faith can agree on the one i want god to move on Praise the Lord. Whether it's a thousand years, seven days, I know that even if it is in one day, it says, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a child. He said, have you ever heard this proverb that a woman will give birth in one day? Be pregnant in one day and give birth in one day. That's God for you. Hallelujah. I still believe that the best of the year for me is still to come. I truly believe. God has done things that has brought tears out of my eyes but i believe for myself that between now and december 31st i am yet to see the hand of god and so but i want to encourage us even as we begin to set the pace for 2018 if you will be there you can write <laughs> you no know, gone are the days where people in, in a false show of humility, they said, we don't know whether we can see tomorrow is a lie. Don't, don't let any man um, bring that nonsense around your table. No. You can believe. There are scriptures that authenticate the quality of your life, the longevity of your life. And the problem is that we come from environments that sociologically condition us to defeat. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give you a few things that the Lord put in my heart to encourage us. Really, this is, this is what I'm here to do this night. And then a few other things that God will grant us grace to do. Now, most believers are not taught the relevance of a retreat. Most Christians are not taught that a retreat is part and parcel of the spiritual growth process of a believer we teach fasting we teach prayer but very few believers have been taught as a corporate doctrine not just a time out away from people but a retreat that you end and begin seasons in your life in the presence of God it is risky to end and begin seasons in your life in the flesh the most spiritual aspect of your life should be when seasons are ending and when seasons are beginning because that's when Satan gets at people when the when when the seasons have been cleared up and you're moving it's difficult for Satan to derail you are we together now so it is very very important every one of us must make sure that we use this one month that we're having and take out at least a few days for a quality retreat now there are different kinds of retreats we have our workers retreat as a ministry there are all kinds of retreats families have their retreats but this retreat i'm talking about is a retreat when you are exclusively alone with god not even husband and wife not even father and children no there are certain things god will never tell you in public 
there are certain things that you will only hear from God when you are alone with him are we together it is it is a very deep and simple spiritual mystery that guarantees victory many believers have not paid attention to it retreats very important end of year retreats very important you must take out time end of year retreat cannot be done in a few hours that is laziness you didn't have a retreat you just had a quiet time a retreat should be at least minimum two solid days you can't spend one day one day alone should be dedicated to thanksgiving is god speaking to us so every single one of us and those following online we must take out time to have personal retreats what are the activities that should happen in the retreats number one thanksgiving your end of year retreat is barren of god's power until you begin and lavishly communicate thanksgiving thanksgiving what we did here tonight is just a representation the same way you spend a night vigil praying and putting your needs you must thank god mention them one by one let me tell you i know this about god he never gets tired hearing people thank him lord thank you thank you you gave me tea thank you last year it was without blue band you added blue band this year and so you observed it you see that not lord you thank you for the food you gave me that's a careless thanksgiving father thank you last year it was tap water now you gave me bottled water thank you that means you are careful you are forgetting not his benefits when it comes to requests we are very meticulous lord give me one two three four then when it comes to thanksgiving we say lord even me i can't remember are you not god don't you know everything I, I just thank you for everything let's go to another prayer request and god says how selfish selfish when you thank god mention things one by one lord thank you i was on my way to kaduna and the car wanted to capsize you saved me thank you and god said ah, this happened january say lord i didn't forget you are too faithful for me to forget that event he said you remember this for me get ready for another dimension thanksgiving write it down thanksgiving we must take out quality time to thank him number two i'm teaching you how to maximize to set the pace to maximize your retreat what do you do during your personal retreat review your progress for the current year 2017 now that's what you do you sincerely honestly unashamedly review the year and i'll dwell here a bit to help us understand i want all of us to really understand these things the second thing you do at a retreat is to review the year and you don't just review the year carelessly you break your review into six different units write it down the first area is your spiritual life you review your spiritual life review your passion for god review the illumination of the word that you have accessed what do you know now that you did not know last year what do you understand now that you did not understand last year review your character create a scale for it can i say i am improving not just in the knowledge of god am i useful to society am i becoming a leader am i becoming a person of character so your spiritual life is the first area that you have to review let me tell you something about retreats you must be honest you see why you have to be alone excuse me you must be honest you must be unashamed you must be very sincere before god number two mental development and your capacity you review that area did i cooperate with the word of god to develop my mind 
did I acquire useful informations that will set me on the cutting edge of relevance? Did I just pray and fast and build my life spiritually and allowed my mind and my relevance with my sociological environment to die? Are we together now? Yes, it matters that we not only grow spiritually, but we sustain the ability to be useful. We must be able to communicate the life of Christ to our environment. So you review it. What books did I read? What do I know about leadership? Did I learn anything? Did I build my mind? What do I know about mindsets? Am I still carrying my village in my head, moving around with it? Am I still carrying the attributes that keep me poor and a failure? Am I still carrying the attributes that make good things to live my life? Is God helping us? Number three, review how much you have taken care of your body, your health. In a retreat, yes sir. That's the best place so that you can easily ask for forgiveness when? Because the only person you really have offended is God. This body belongs to him. For some of us, 2017 has been a useful year spiritually and a careless one health-wise. Is that true? Review. Oh, this year, Lord, I apologize. I ate anyhow. I did all kinds of things. Anyhow, destroyed my body. Why do you make these reviews? Because you need this body to last very long. Are we together? Gone are the days when people don't talk about this in church and they tell people the most important thing is your spiritual life. And you see someone of 32 looking like 50. They ask him how old are you? He said, I will be 33 next year. Say, so why are you looking at a condition make crayfish bed? No, you are not a crayfish. You are created in the image and the likeness of God. Some of those sayings, we must start getting them out of the body of Christ. They look very nice, but these are the things that authorize Satan to destroy our lives. Hallelujah. Your health. And some of us, it is not even poverty. It's carelessness. Write that word down. This is a word that you should look at very carefully during your retreat. Many people's lives are destroyed, including their health, because of one word carelessness unattentiveness to details hallelujah number four review your assignment the reason for which God brought you review your purpose your kingdom service these are things that you review at a time of retreat Lord, I look at the compass of my destiny. Did I make progress this year? Can I say from prophecy to manifestation, I have moved forward. You see, this assignment and purpose thing, you, you, you hardly even hear it again. People don't talk about it. It says, Lo, I come as it is written of me in the volume of the book to do your will. The reason why many people have time to waste their life is because they are not occupied with purpose. If purpose does not occupy you, anybody can call you any day and say, are you free, sir? Yes, come and follow me somewhere. God designed your time to be well invested fulfilling your assignment. This idleness that our generation has is because we are not occupied in purpose. And then the recent... Um, I would say trick of the devil is to make people busy but not moving forward. Motions like sitting on a rocking chair. The chair is rocking consistently but you are not making progress. Oftentimes Jesus would retreat and look, okay, I must be here. I must be there. Your assignment. Your purpose. I don't know my purpose, but you can look at your service in the house of God. Use that as a template. What was your level of commitment? What was your level of diligence? Are we together? Very important. This is what I do during my retreats. Number four. The fourth area. Number what? Number five. I beg your pardon. Your finance. 
write it down your finances you have to flog it out in the secret place are we together now you've looked at your spiritual life mental transformation your body your health is that true and then your assignment then your finances we are very unapologetic about the usefulness of financial resources both in the quality of our lives and kingdom advance i'm not one of those pretentious people that would downplay the role of financial resources in helping an individual live a useful life i've shared it again and again with us that living to seek money all your life is a cost it's not just bad it's a cost it's one of the most distracting strategies of satan when a man spends all your life looking for money it's a cost Nobody was ever designed to do that. What time then do you have in building? This chase for money has made us to leave our children to the hands of Satan. Has made us to leave our purpose. There are people called as prophets and apostles, but they only realize one week to their death. They spent their whole life chasing money and they never find it. Please let me say it again and again. Do not ever plan to continue pursuing money all your life. There is an exact time where God should help you put together financial resources that afford you the opportunity to serve God so that you can turn and focus on the more useful things. Making financial pursuit priority in your life forever is a cause. It may be within the time you are seeking, that's all right. So this is very important review because for some of us our whole lives is built around money money and we never get it you talk two minutes money everything money you say jesus the person replies back with money 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 every time you have to review is that true Was I able to engage the keys that bring for wealth and abundance this year? Or I just had it and it didn't work? You will easily know whether you engage it by the results you got. Finance is one area where your disobedience shows immediately. Immediately. So you must be sincere. This year, God gave me one million naira. God gave me hundred thousand naira. What did I do with it? I made a mistake. I gave 100,000 Naira to 419ers. You don't jump that. What is the lesson that I have to learn there? Is that true? God gave me 200,000. I bought a shoe and I bought a shirt that is not yet my level to prove a point to people who are not interested. Oh Lord, forgive me. Don't say it's all right. Ask for forgiveness because that is sin. Is that true? When God gives you resources and you waste it, if nobody has told you it is sin, believe me. Lord, I gave you offering of 1010 10 Naira. I gave you offering of 2020 20 Naira. But my average dinner was 2000 Naira. It's a sign that you are not a serious believer. I know you think, I'm not talking about money. You know that God has helped us. But it's important. These are some of the things that you do during your retreat. A measure of your passion for the house of God, and that includes with your resources. All this 10, 10 naira giving. You know, most times we lie to ourselves that it doesn't matter. The amount does not matter. Are we not Bible students? He that soweth sparingly, what is sparingly? Small, scanty, shall reap, but he shall reap scanty. That's why you get one testimony in four months. Correct? You are reaping. But he that soweth bountifully, lavishly, extravagantly, he said he will reap. The Bible said that scriptures cannot be broken. So don't say that it does not matter. It could be a time for you. I remember it was in one of my retreats, honestly speaking, that the Lord challenged me on this. The level of giving was far less than the level of God's blessing on my life. And the Lord rebuked me. And I made up my mind and I made a vow. There is a minimum amount I will never give as offering again forever till Jesus comes. 
Yes, it's true. It's true. It's true. So review it. What do you understand about finances? Review it. If all you know about finances is business and job is better, you have to sit down and flog that area. Because neither of them in themselves will give you money. Number six, relationships. The sixth area that you will look at in your retreat is your relationships. Marital relationships, career relationships, business relationships, destiny relationships. Some of us almost wasted our year today because of the presence of bad and useless associations. Associations that should have nothing, nothing to do with our lives. It's all this, uh, it's our tribe, it's our church, it's our this. Is that true? The Bible says, he that works with the wise will be wise. But it says the companion of fools will be destroyed. Relationships. It matters review them review them who did you give access to this year whose presence destroyed your productivity who did you give access to this year that destroyed your potential for more results who should you have given access to this year that would have improved your life some of you your relationship here you even need to go back and check with the holy spirit what degree of access did you give him relationships now when you review these six areas let me be honest with you your entire life revolves around these six areas your spiritual life your mental development your health and physical well-being is that true your assignment your career whatever it is your financial resources and your relationships there is no man that will ever be a failure if he excels in this area usually what i do is that i scale all six areas and look at the best performing area and the worst performing area and i must answer why i won't just say i will improve why why was this the best and why was this the worst if your relationships for inside for instance was the worst this year what don't i know about friendship what have i not learned maybe i'm neglecting honor maybe i'm not valuable enough maybe i'm too much of a talkative maybe i'm not somebody who can be committed secret maybe i'm somebody who is not friendly maybe i'm someone who is jealous lord help me you write it down are you seeing how people grow in retreat you will never come out of that experience the same no sir People jump into the new year and laugh and fast for 10 days or 21 days and become the same old them again and you see the Bible says you never put new wine in an old wine skin if your wine skin is old nothing new will ever come you will have to replace that wine skin like a snake molting shedding off the old skin so that there can be room for expansion he said go and borrow vessels borrow the wine skin borrow not a few and the more the wine skin the more capacity city for the anointing to function is that true you must take out time so this is the second thing you do the first thing let's review thanksgiving thanksgiving then the second thing you do is a review of the year i gave you six aspects of your review the third thing is that you must plan for 2018 plan for 2018 I'll tell you how to plan shortly please write this it's very important plan for 2018 it's amazing how many people don't plan they think just because they are writing what they would do they think that's planning that's not planning many times those things are just wishes because at the end of the year less than one percent of them ever happen that's not a goal how do you plan set clear goals in these six areas we just reviewed set clear goals with scriptural backings in each of them I am convinced that if you set a goal in any of these six areas and it doesn't have a scriptural backing it will not come to pass because there is no basis for committing God remember your success is based on your partnership 
you are not going to plan alone for by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail you must plan and add a scriptural backing that means a spiritual basis for committing God in those areas and then you must add time targets to them every day is not conducive for everything no sir when you buy a product if we pick up this bottle of water you will see there's a little inscription there the manufacturing date and then they write something best before in other words to get the best of this pro this product it should be consumed within this time range putting time target to your goals puts a healthy pressure on you to be able to achieve them the reason why i believe that a lot of us have defaulted on our goals is because there is no time allocation so we make it look like every day is conducive no sir if you build a house at 70 years it's not a testimony if you finish school at 60 years it's not a testimony is that true if a woman gives birth to her first child at 60 years it's an unusual testimony it's because it's not supposed to be so is that true if god blesses you at 80 years who are you going to leave it for you will be angry and be frustrated so there are things that we must trust god to help us fast track in our life say amen and let me come to the gentleman and just talk to us a little please plan turn to any brother seated near you and say brother plan just leave the sisters in one minute say brother plan listen spiritual people spiritual people are some of the poorest planners we have especially in this country we don't plan for our greatness we just hope and wish and pray bishop oyedeko said praying without planning is playing without knowing you have to be like nehemiah with one hand you are building but with another hand you are holding the sword both hands cannot hold the sword one hand is holding the sword and another hand is building it says every house is built by some man but god is the builder of all that some man must build the horse is prepared for battle but safety is of the lord but it does not stop you from preparing the horse are we together now i expect every gentleman here to start planning married or not sit down and plan here's what scripture says when i was a child i thought like a child correct i understood like a child i acted like a child it says now that i am a man i lay aside these childish things some of you that's what will happen in your retreat you have to sit down and tell yourself this childishness in my life must go forever comma this foolishness in my life must go forever this stupidity in my life must go forever somehow we have this belief that because god is able without our engaging him through the application of the wisdom of god things will just happen just like that we are tired of irresponsible fathers we are tired of irresponsible gentlemen we are tired of nuisances to society a gentleman who should be capable of feeding and taking care of his siblings and taking care of a generation is still depending on his old and aged parents blasting in tongues but depending there it should not be it should not be there is an honor that comes when certain things are in place in your life is that true i'm speaking to everybody but i'm speaking especially to our gentlemen please let's go back to god and plan this rat race of visiting everybody today you are here tomorrow you are there my brother what are you doing with your life you say it is well no it's not well you sit down and plan what are you doing with your life Oh, I want to marry Apostle Wonderful and eat what? Show me the blueprint of, of the, not the timetable of your cooking, the, the capability to be able to fend and take care of the family. Especially, do you know, because in Africa, let's be very honest, if I handpick everybody here, almost everybody here has at least four or five people 
depending to eat from him is that true leave the ladies gentlemen i'm talking to you i'm coming to the ladies pick anybody at random there is one neighbor one one cousin you know one relative that you didn't even know you are related to that needs you to feed so gone are the days where you say i have enough for myself no you must flog it out plan 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 i will take the month of january to study only on finances even if they give you a message on rapture you say i'm born again i have a goal i'm studying on finances i'm spending the month of february to study on faith on faith i'm studying the month of uh, the month of march to study on the anointing I'm studying the month of uh, June or April or whatever to study on my giftings and potentials. I'm spending the month of July to study on ministry or my assignment. That's how we grow. You don't get up every day and open to any part of scripture and just read and convince yourself that you are growing. You must plan. Are we together? By the grace of God, there, there is almost a message concerning every major area of your life. Go to the media stand there are teachings the media department can help you compartmentalize the teachings if it is success if it's your spiritual growth character development you know salvation etc whatever it is there are teachings and they are all free come with them you must plan number four the fourth thing that I want us to do by the grace of God is that all of us as a family of faith individually we are going to be studying the book of Proverbs write it down we are going to be studying the book of Proverbs all the 31 chapters study not read there's a difference between studying and reading you can take two two chapters and finish it in 15 days you didn't study you read you glanced through let's use this break period to extensively study the book of proverbs go online there are all kinds of commentaries that have been done on that book study carefully don't read to finish read to understand the book of proverbs the lord put this in my heart was studying the fifth admonition which comes as an instruction is that every one of us as much as God has granted us the understanding have a sacrificial seed wrapped with expectation this is between you and God a sacrifice is not a seed a sacrifice is bread he said cast your bread upon the water he gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater but there are times he will challenge you to give both the bread and the seed a sacrificial seed I'm already doing mine and I'm doing it again and again it's a principle I have practiced for many years that at the end of the year into the next year they will, I will I will have to commit to something that cost me both to God and to the ministry every year without fail I do this I'm not talking of uh, 10 naira 20 naira something that even you you will stand and say Lord I give you thanks between you and God why are you doing that you are engaging the mystery of sacrifice and securing the year coming now please don't do it if you don't have the revelation this has nothing to do with trying to manipulate money and this is a mistake that men of God make when it comes to things like seeds and sacrifice you see them expressing a lot of desperation I, I always say this every man of God's success is not based on the giving of members it is based on his own obedience to the principles of the kingdom koinonia will only prosper to the degree to which we are complying with the precepts of the kingdom are we together these five things i promise you that when you do them you will be ready for an amazing 2018 number one thanksgiving number two review that number two for me is one of the most important you have to review 
don't just wait and say ah apostle send us the prophetic word for next year my body is shaking i need to know what is the prophetic word this is how a lot of people keep recycling carelessness again after again and and and, and then again and again and they find out that the year remains the same different words coming but there's no progress in our lives so go back get a notebook don't just get a little piece of paper it's a sign that you are not serious with your own destiny get a notebook and sit down and write these things out come up by the spirit one of the things i can guarantee you that will happen in your silence is that the holy spirit will speak to you he will correct you he will applaud you he will rebuke you he will encourage you he will challenge you let the chastening of the lord not be something that you resent whatever happens in that secret place embrace it as a refiner's fire it is going to be the key to your next level is that true praise god so you do this this is my first encouragement for us tonight these five things the lord put it in my heart and i felt to share with us to help us maximize our time proverbs chapter 4 blessed be the name of the lord we're reading the first 10 verses proverbs chapter 4 Just to encourage us and then we'll pray proverbs chapter 4 is it projected okay hear ye children the instructions of a father and attend to no understanding for i give you good doctrine forsake ye not my law solomon is teaching us here for I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments and leave. Verse 5. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Verse 6, forsake her not. Who is the her? Wisdom, understanding. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Take note. The benefits of embracing wisdom and understanding. She shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. 7 says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Verse 8 says, exalt her. And she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor. Who will bring you? Wisdom and understanding. Not just wisdom. Wisdom and understanding will bring you to honor. When thou dost embrace her. We are reading to verse 10. Verse 9. She shall give unto thy head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver unto you. Verse 10. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. From preservation to honor to longevity, wisdom and understanding. Wisdom is the capacity to understand the mind of Christ. Wisdom is the ability to communicate the scriptural solution concerning every issue of life the scriptural solution to every issue of life is called wisdom you are wise to the degree to which you comprehend the ability to profess scriptural solution there are cultural solutions to life's problems there are occultic solutions to life problems there are emotional solutions to life's problems none of them in themselves are able to provide lasting solutions but the wisdom of god the wisdom of god i have 
pursued the wisdom of God with my life because when I was exposed to my own folly and the fact that I am so limited and the consequences of foolishness the Bible says he that works with the wise shall be wise himself but he said just being the companion of a fool your destruction is guaranteed if as a companion of a fool you are destroyed then what happens to the fool just being a friend to a foolish man allowing his foolish decisions to influence you it guarantees doom for you that means every fool has no hope foolishness is bankruptcy of the knowledge of god's principles it's not just acting foolishly the foolish action is a product of bankruptcy in your spirit and in your mind i'd like us to carefully examine the decisions in our lives i want us to carefully examine the things that we do the degree to which you have succeeded is a show of how you have manifested the wisdom of god every time results are not produced in your life is because there was a defaulting in the wisdom of god it's an uncomfortable truth but it's the secret to rising and pressing for wisdom i am ever ready to be shown by god the areas in my life where i am bankrupt of the wisdom of god it doesn't embarrass me i want to know i search for it like one who is looking for treasure if you do not contend for wisdom your life will be an unending circle of pain an unending circle of regrets an unending circle of many things most of us look at our lives this year and we can see several points in our lives where foolishness veered us off the path of glory and brought us into a lot of pain some of us lost destiny help us some of us lost the gift of men is that true some of us lost opportunities some of us lost access several things no wisdom some of us this year we approached our parents wrongly and right now there is a divide between us and our parents lack of wisdom some of us had zeal with no knowledge and it brought a lot of trouble to our businesses a lot of trouble to our ministries wisdom is very important the bible says it is the principal thing and you see, the Bible says, I commend you to the word of God. It says it's able to make you wise. The word of God makes men wise. Just by focusing your attention on the word of God and imbibing the principles, the modus operandi of the kingdom, it makes you wise. The word of God teaches you how to relate with difficult people. The word of God teaches you how to speak and when to speak so that you don't get into trouble. The word of God teaches you how to respond to unbelievers. Many of us come from families where there is a mixture of people who are both of the faith and not of the faith. Wisdom teaches you how to communicate. Wisdom teaches you that when you are angry, be silent because every Every time you speak you will speak in the flesh there are many people who just obeying this principle would have saved them businesses worth millions of naira they uttered words that they are still paying for it today are we together our challenges dr mike modok will say there is no money problem anywhere and i agree with him most of our challenges because you see we are victims of our understanding and most of the things we have executed in our lives are reflections of the limitations of our knowledge our wisdom our understanding guess what the bible says it says true wisdom a house is built then it says by understanding it is established the firmness of that house is a product of understanding it says true knowledge is a house filled with every pleasurable thing we must make up our minds that we are going to access the word of God not just as an instrument to heal us of the guilt of um, spirituality I would say for many people our study of the word is just to so that the devil does not plant any seed in us that we are backsliding but we are not learning anything this is the greatest book that will help your career and your business this is the greatest book that will help your marriage 
this is the greatest book the sufferings in our world today is because we have ignored the truths that are here we have read it like a religious book we have read it to preach we have read it to to carry out bible studies and prayer sessions but we have not read it for the purpose of accessing wisdom for the way of the lord is the way no age you get to in life that guarantees that all your decisions will be flawlessly accurate this is the book that coordinates our success there is no educational height you get to that guarantees that your decision making process will be accurate even if you study psychology it is not enough to give you all the parameters that are needed in themselves to make wise decisions i have lost confidence in myself outside of the world it says thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path in this wicked world listen this ministry by the grace of god was built on this word I have meticulously built my life on this word. I don't trust any other thing that is not this word. I bring you a proposition tonight as we round up this year. I want you to return to a place where you hold an unquenchable hunger and value for the word. Many of us pray, but our lives are bankrupt of wisdom. Our decisions show the absence of the influence of the word. It's very clear that we are not being governed by the word. I can know how much you have imbibed the word by the excellency and the quality of your communication. I'm not talking of linguistic excellence. I'm talking of the wisdom that flows from your words. I see your behavior. I see how you disappoint your enemy's expectations and I know you have stayed with the world. When you become a victim of people's expectations, wait and see. He's going to shout at this person. Ah, you come and shout. Ah, you have given yourself cheap to life. The word of God is not coordinating you. Jesus disappointed the expectations of the people many times for instance when they brought to him the woman who was caught in adultery they expected he was going to rant because they were talking about the word of god you know every time satan wants to challenge you he uses scripture moses said this and jesus kept quiet wisdom for there is a time to speak and there is a time to be silent there are times where your loudest communication is in your silence your silence will answer more than any word for instance, when responding to your critic, your critic already knows the truth. Don't try to explain. It's a waste of time. You don't respond to critics by verbal communication. You respond to critics by consistency. Consistency of your results. Is that true? When I look at our lives and I see our lives surrounded by pride and arrogance, it is because we have not seen the deception of pride. The deception of pride is like a man climbing a ladder and you take the ladder away. That's exactly what pride does. I love the word of God. I stopped reading my Bible to finish it. I stopped reading my Bible to crime scriptures. I found out that it was truly a roadmap in this darkness darkness where there is deception how many of you have followed people's advices and their advices crashed you not because they were bad people they were just humans they advise you to beat your wife if she goes wrong see i tried it on my own wife look at how she's behaving now you tried it on your own wife and that's when you, you your prayer stopped being answered that's the first thing that started happening to you and many other bad things happened to you I can look at your life and know how much the word of God has prevailed by the quality of the results that you produce. You see, let me tell you something. If I look at your life and I see you are dirty and tattered, as simple as neatness, I know you don't have respect for the word of God. 
if the word of God can purge your spirit, then your life will reflect it. You cannot be growing in the world and you are dirty, unkept, looking like a thief all the time and say it does not matter. No, sir. No, sir. The word of God will make you to buy a iron because it will teach you that there is a way you appear before kings there is a way kings behave and the bible tells you that you have been made according to revelation chapter 5 and verse 10 we have been made unto god a kingdom of kings and priests so you speak like a king you act like a king is that true it is the word of God that is the antidote to these conflicts that our cultures create in our heads. Christian versus Hausa. Christian versus Yoruba. Christian versus Igbo. You don't know which one to embrace and which one to leave. I propose to you a culture that is above and superior to every other one. That any part of your culture that does not subscribe to the word of God, eject it immediately. The kingdom is a culture. Most of us, our lives have been destroyed because of our, our unfortunate loyalty to cultural tenets that are completely anti-Christ. So although uh, we are attempting again and again to be spiritual, but the, the thinkings that we have imbibed from culture continue to fight God in our lives. I have no loyalty to anything that is not of God. This is it. This is my new culture. Scripture tells me that I've been called out of every tribe. I'm not saying culture is bad in itself. But trust me. There are demonic and satanic areas. There are certain aspects of cultures that are not seen in themselves. But I tell you there are weights. A weight is something that can provide an impedance. It can stop your movement. It says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So when you are carrying a weight that is destroying your life. In our place, we don't do this. In our place, women cannot talk. Who is this woman preaching? I can't listen to her because in our, which your place? Who invented it? Oh, God is speaking. I will listen. In our place, young people don't talk to old people, even respectfully, even under the anointing. Are you seeing that now? It is important that we recalibrate our minds so that we begin to view life from the perspective of the kingdom. They drove children from coming to Jesus. Something about their culture taught them that. And Jesus said, ah, 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 let the little children come to me and do not forbid them. He said, for, for such. That means these children roaming around are teaching you a lesson you are not learning. That until you become like one of these, not childish, but childlike. Very malleable in your faith and understanding. He says, the kingdom is for such. Are you getting blessed tonight? Get wisdom, get understanding, make a conscious decision that in the name of the Lord Jesus, although I was born in so 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 place, I was born under so 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 condition. By the grace of God, my children will not live under that kind of condition. The Lord, by His Spirit, will lift me. It's not about Nazareth, it's not about where you come from, it's about your ability to walk with the Word of God and bring that transformation hallelujah by the grace of god i have made it a personal commitment as a minister that i will never create seditions or favoritism based on geographic factors never never you will never see me do that i love my people wonderful people love my region where i come from but by the grace of God, I've traveled to every one of the regions of this nation and they love me unreservedly because I do not and will never, never try to create any sense of superiority of one culture above another. I love everyone. The Bible says there is neither male nor female, neither Jew nor Greek, bond nor free. We're all in Christ.
So I cannot see I can say I K is Igbo and say I'm um, Pastor Alpha is from Kogi State, Promise is from Delta, and I say you are my person. Be careful. Those are the kinds of mindsets that rob us because your destiny helper will come as directed. It may not be from your place. Joseph of Arimathea. The Bible does not record that he was part of the disciples of Jesus. How about Simon of Cyrene? The people who played very major roles in the life of Jesus. Jesus was rejected by his own people. They ran away. Anna the prophetess. Simeon in the temple. Joseph of Arimathea. Look at the strange people who came and attended to him. Wisdom. There are ministries that have crashed into pieces because of lack of wisdom. They make it look like if you are this tribe, you are not welcome. If you are that tribe, you are not welcome. We must be careful because we are dealing with a global society. Part of the principles you learn when you study global leadership is that you must concentrate on the points of similarity. Concentrate on the points of similarity. Nobody will be comfortable in an atmosphere where their core values are being insulted simply because you are trying to demonstrate the superiority of another culture. So we unify ourselves as believers with one common culture. It's called the kingdom. The kingdom is God's culture where we allow the influence and the reign of Christ to permeate our lives regardless of our geographic differences ah. Elohim Adonai Thy kingdom come Thy will be done Elohim Adonai Thy kingdom come Thy will be done Elohim Adonai It is the Bible that teaches us how to be wise financially. It says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. So when you see a young man spending as if he would not marry, you see that? Living a fake and a foolish life. That's a selfish man because he's not thinking about his children and his children's children. The Bible says it. The Bible says there is he that scattereth. Hear the wisdom of God. There is he that scattereth and increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. That means there is a relationship between greed and lack. The Bible establishes it. So when there is lack in your life, you check and you see that there is scripture is fulfilled in your life. The Bible talks about tithing. That there is a relationship between the opening of your heavens and your tithing. Regardless of whatever opinions are available scripture cannot be broken it is by these two immutable things God swore his word will not be broken heaven and earth will pass away but brothers and sisters men and their philosophies and their pride and their arrogance nations and kingdoms will rise and fall but the word of God remains consistent one of the greatest fears if I would say in my life is to find out that at the end of my life I believe they lie I wasted my time following a man, following a philosophy, and then at the end, he will tell me, I'm sorry, me too, I'm as confused as you. I choose the word of God that liveth and abideth forever. This ministry is a tithing ministry. I'm a tithing person. There is no devil and no doctrine that will ever stop us. That's why there is no amount of recession. I say it with all humility. By the grace of God Almighty that is capable of limiting me as a person and limiting the work of God. For he said, I will build my church. And if you allow me to build it, I will build it in such a manner that the gates of hell will not prevail. This is the wisdom of God. 
I have learned from the wisdom of God that as a man of God, your assignment is to lift up Jesus, not yourself. This is the secret to crowd. You lift up yourself, you pay for it. He says, and I, if I be lifted, the reward for lifting me is mysteriously. I will draw all men, not some men, not some territories. When I found this, I said, Lord, I have no business building any empire. It is about Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Thank God for the honor, but I'm so happy to let you know that the one who really deserves all the glory and all the honor is Jesus, the head of the church, the builder of Koinonia. It came from the word. I'm showing you things from the word. I have found out in the word of God that when you honor the body of Christ, there are dimensions you enter. It is, it is the word of God that gave me that wisdom. So I can insult a man because I do not like something about him, yet he's carrying an anointing that can help me. It is for this cause many are weak. For this cause many are sick. For this cause many do sleep. There are many people who would have cheaply received miracles, but the vessels that carry the anointing are not appealing to them. The scripture says there is a treasure in earthen vessel. He didn't tell you the vessel is golden. He said the vessel is earthen. So he can be angry like Elijah or temperous like Moses. They still are anointed. When I found out I don't have any problem with any man of God. You never hear me open my mouth and tear down a man and his ministry because I believe that there is always something I can learn. Even if I cannot learn spirituality, I can learn excellence. I can learn leadership. When you search for Jesus everywhere, you will find him. Hmm. I learned from this scripture that as a man, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So I stop wasting my time packaging a reality that is not here. Gone are the days where people try to buy suit, buy shoe with empty understanding and then their minds reduce their lives back. Have you seen territories like that? They try to do physical things. They have not educated the people in that environment. Then they make tap. In six months, they spoil the tap to look like the mindsets of those living in that environment. No sensitization. So I learned that the key to my lifting is not buying clothes, buying shoes, buying all these things to prove a point that I can wait with the Holy Spirit to reconstruct my understanding and that inevitably the things I so admire will helplessly run towards me. Oh my God, and how, how true. This is one of the truest revelations I know in scripture. The supernatural power of the transformed mind and its ability to effortlessly draw to your life the realities that are consistent with your understanding it is true are we together the wisdom of God tells you there is hope for a tree even it be cut short in our society where we are we are more than happy to conclude on people you look at someone and say, this guy used to be an arm robber. There's no hope for him. But when you study the word of God, the Bible is full of people that God transformed their lives overnight. And my Bible says that rejected stone. Ha! Ah, that rejected stone. I'm speaking to someone in your family. And all the nonsense and rubbish that they say about people. There are people who started this year with their pride of spirituality and right now they are not they are almost not even born again because their pride humbled them they maintain their spiritual life by themselves but there are people who started this year saying lord if you are looking for any vessel can you use this drunkard and god said that's all i want come and right now as i speak to you they are in various stages around the world setting up place the kingdom of darkness because he uses the foolish things when you understand this you will never run your mouth at anybody and conclude on people you don't see a woman who is frying a car and look and say oh dear poor woman because god can pick someone you see the word of god makes men wise the way we speak sometimes shows that we have not read scripture whether it is a poor man a rich man 
I will hug you and greet you. I won't say you, you are this. Go, no, no. Of course, I will give you honor. Because God, I have seen in my little life how God has transformed people overnight and made princes to be servants and servants to become princes. If the Baba of Joseph knew he was babbing the prime minister, he would have begged him and said, Sir, don't forget me. Oh. There were people of Bas and John lifted simply because they dared to advise him while he was in prison. When he came out, he sent for them, created one committee and dropped them there. He said, quit before I change the committee. And he said it very openly, not anything in the hiding. I brought this person here because he was there for me. Wisdom. Wisdom teaches you to be there for people at their worst areas because they will never forget you. People will forget you when they, if, if, if I hold a banquet for plenty people, you hold that banquet as a king, so you forget everybody. But when someone comes to you in the cave of Adulam, you say, I will never forget you. Everybody ran away from me, but you stood there. One of the quickest way to be rich is find somebody rising. Find a vision rising. Be part of it with all diligence. That's a free ride to the wealthy place. I guarantee you. Some of our parents today know people that would have changed their life in a heartbeat. They are crying for rent. Whereas somebody that they would have helped with 50 naira 20 years ago would give them an estate today. The word of God making us wise. Making us wise. Making us wise. Making us wise. Hold your Bible in one minute. And I like you to pray and say, Lord, there is, there is wisdom in this scripture. There is wisdom in this scripture. There is wisdom in this scripture. I'm tired of foolishness in my life. Lord, I come to terms with the fact that my decisions are obviously showing a bankruptcy of the word of God. The quality of my decisions are a revelation that the wisdom of God is not at work in my life. The quality of my decisions, the quality of my results are questioning the efficacy of the word of God in my life. Are you praying? I'm not asking you whether you have been faithful with Bible study. I'm not asking you whether you have been faithful with your, your devotion or whatever it is. I am asking you, have you allowed the wisdom of God to influence your understanding? Do you live your life trading the mysteries of the kingdom? Or do you live your life guessing and hoping that at a point in your life things will change? It's risky to run your life by your own your own formula hallelujah sit down the wisdom of God come the wisdom of God teaches us how to relate with people is that true when when you study the wisdom of God the word of God you will know that whoever wants friends will not sit down and say call me text me be my friend that friendship is a harvest you have to sow the seed so if I sit down and I find out that I love God but there are no friends as a lady nobody likes me as a guy nobody likes me the secret is that something about your life is creating an environment that is pungent to friendship see that when you lack helpers in your life the Bible gives you a prescription when you lack helpers in your life I can tell you immediately there are things you are not doing among them there is no prophecy on your life because destiny helpers don't come on their own it is one aspect of your life that it is pure prophecy that calls them many of us we have used our words to program wars ladies ah, it is not for us we are not us we are the we are the um uh, what they call that thing we are the outcasts we are the ones who our parents cannot this leave it to these people and 
the Bible says, do not say before an angel, I made a mistake. We have programmed nonsense and rubbish. A name God did not call you. You have allowed yourself to be called it again and again. You called yourself ugly. There is nowhere in scripture where you are called ugly. You called yourself irresponsible. The word of God does not call you that way. Open my eyes. Help me believe. I am what you say. Hallelujah. So French. The Bible says, cast not away your confidence. Confidence is not pride. Uh -uh. Confidence is psychological stability that is on the strength of the truth you have found in scripture. That's confidence. Stability that is based on the truth of God's word. If you tell me, Apostle, I, I was passing across a shrine and I heard them talking about you, that they will kill you tomorrow. I'm going to sleep this night. I won't wake up and do any special prayer through the night of God. And it can't be joy. It's a joke. If you know the mysteries that keep this man standing, yeah, yeah. Uh -uh. you surround yourself with mysteries like chariots. When the spirit of death knocks on your door, three scriptures come out like, like fire. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Number two, honor your father and your mother that your days may be long and that it shall be well with you. Number three, I set before you life and death. Blessing and cursing, I advise you and I chose it. Do you fight a man outside his will? Even God stands in the door of your heart and knocks. Why wouldn't Satan knock? Why wouldn't death knock? If God is knocking to enter. I don't know about you. The Bible says a man who has no control over his spirit is like a city without war. Anything that must enter my life, if God knocks to enter, nothing will enter on his own. It's my revelation. So when men say there is a casting down, they allowed it somewhere. For me, when it knocks, I say, get back. For me, there is a lifting up. See, I'm not just entertaining you. I'm showing you how the word of God makes a man wise. It constructs your understanding. The Bible says he daily loads me with benefit. I expect favor every day. Recycled after 24 hours. It's not because I'm a preacher. I expect it. I found it. I found thy word and I ate it. It was a joy and a rejoicing. The word was not written for preachers, brothers and sisters. It was written for those who can believe. My mother started learning these principles. And you would find that people would start calling. Take a bag of rice. Give your mother. Take this. Give your mother. Working for her. She's not a preacher. And it's not because she's my mother. It works for anybody. He said, declare ye that ye might be justified. I will never say I am a failure. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Just because there is no food in your room, most believers will come, Kai, this life self, a luta continua, Victoria Escarta, it's a, it's a curse. You are reciting, you are enchanting, it's the same thing as being given a charm in a herbalist shrine, and you read it. That's what we have been doing. You come in and you see lack and insufficiency, you declare, while I look not at the things that are unseen, but the things that are seen. For the things that are seen are temporal, subject to change, but the things that are unseen, I know that one day I will feed nations. Come on now. You are going through times in your life you don't understand what is happening. You don't give room to depression. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I know my Redeemer lives. Bible said Job did not cost God. The way we act is a revelation as to whether the word of God has worked in us. You go back and you meet friends. Ah, a mega, and then they say one kind of very devilish, poisonous, and vulgar word. You call a human being a dog, you call a human being, it used to be a joke, but now that you have the revelation. You lovingly say, no, I'm not a dog. I know exactly dogs in scripture are used to communicate Gentiles and people who are at the basest levels of life. I will not confess that. 
The Bible says he has made me a king and a priest. I remember when I was in secondary school, there's something they call Yabi. Do you know it? Where two people will sit down and look for very nasty expressions. Very vulgar descriptions of themselves. The goal is for it to be funny. So somebody, usually there are a group of people who are like the referees. I will say my own, you'll be angry and say your own, and then, you know, that's why people were not doing well. Notice people enter JS1 and by the time they finish writing exams, they come out, the only thing they come out with is a good certificate. Common sense gone, health gone. They are sick, they have troubles. God has not given me the spirit of fear. The Bible says I shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. In my world, there's nothing like Ember Mons. He daily loads. This is the day the Lord has made. It didn't say the Lord and Satan, the Lord alone made that day. Satan too was waiting for God to make the day. It was God that made the day. I rejoice in it and I am glad. You will never see me frowning my face and you ask me why. I said, Kai, this world, Nigeria said, no. He said, for with joy shall I draw. I've taught you this. Frustrate Satan by remaining joyful. He said, rejoice in the Lord, not in your results. If you rejoice in your results, the day you don't see it, you will not rejoice again. If you rejoice in your CGPA, your job, your new employment, I rejoice in the Lord eyes are on him regardless of the results my eyes are on him you pick a medical report and he looks at you he says the, the medical report says you have all kinds of lumps and all kinds of growth and the devil says that's it oh. in case you don't know the name is cancer it's just that it's forming come keep watching and you sit down and go online signs of cancer they say it starts like lumps hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you come and meet a maker and then he will confirm it to you he says it's true Go and drop that report and say lord if i die who will dance you are reducing the number of people who will praise you ask hezekiah isaiah went to him in chapter 38 and said hezekiah set your house in order hezekiah said nonsense i respect you you're a prophet of god but leave me and god shut the door hezekiah said god what did i hear you say remember your temple when you talk about the temple God listens oh Lord your house oh and he said no 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 please Isaiah go back go back go back I think it was a prayer department I was I was um Yes, on Tuesday, I was rounding up their session with them and I told them something. I said, as a worker in this ministry, there are benefits that should be yours. They are not, they are not privileges, they are rights. As a worker, there are certain things that should be yours. The Bible said a worker is worthy. The word worthy there is deserving of his wages. Not just a worker in koinonia. A worker in the house of God. The closest simile to wages is salary. That means that there should be something that leaves heaven for me. You have gotten your salary for being a civil servant of Nigeria. Have you gotten your salary for being a worker in the house of God? Is God speaking to you? The way I speak the way I understand is a revelation when you look at your child and beat your child and kick your child and say you are you are an idiot you are a stupid child I don't know why you and your foolish mother you are revealing something the kicking is a revelation it's a revelation that number one you don't know that children come from God number two you do not know that fatherhood is an office recognized in the realm of the spirit there is a priesthood office that fatherhood has the mother of Jabez was angry she didn't know that motherhood is an office and out of her anger she named her child Jabez every time Jabez was to be good that office cried in the realm of the spirit and one day Jabez was angry and said no I can't continue like this 
I can tell you more than half of Africans are carrying all kinds of tragedies that the office of father and mother provided out of anger. Your father looks at you and just says, look, it will not be well with you just because that time you were in the world and you stole his shoe or you stole a goat and went to go and sell it and he looked at you and in anger, he cost you. He said, this is how you will be like a goat all through your life. And you will think it's a joke until you find out you put a goat side by side with the way you are behaving and you see that it's exactly the same true story i'm rounding up i know a gentleman that the mother cursed him and said until a rat stop stealing he will not stop stealing yes true story god is my witness he was a popular face that i knew this guy will come out of prison now as they are waving him signing in two weeks he's coming back again that prophecy secured the spirit of theft in his life comfortable the only thing that can set him free is the anointing you see the reason why we speak over people yes you speak over people to superimpose and veto the ordinances that have been communicated upon their lives. Listen, brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that these are spiritual ordinances. Fatherhood and motherhood did not end with the Old Testament. In the New Testament, a man treats his wife bad and the Bible says his heavens will be closed. This is why many fathers are going through hard life in Nigeria. I'm telling you this. This attitude of treating mothers and treating women as if they are a piece of rag. You are a father here. Please apologize. I have great respect for men. I'm one. I've been one all my life. So I, I don't in any way downplay men. But I want to be sincere with you. The way you treat your wife, not a woman, your wife, will determine whether your heavens will be close or not so you can labor you finish insulting your wife call her stupid woman you and all your five useless children you are going for the business meeting they call you when you are almost there and say sir just go back it won't work again you say what do you mean it won't work i just prepared my paper the heavens you always know when the heavens are closed because a forest becomes a fruitful vine and becomes a wilderness depletion from as they say from grace to grass close heavens that's why the bible says until the spirit be poured upon us like rain from high then a wilderness will become a fruitful vine then a fruitful vine will be counted for a forest thank you hallelujah we're going to pray tonight and then i'm going to speak over your life I really believe in the power of prayer listen let me encourage you with these keys that i've shared with you i expect every wise young man whether you are staying with your parents or not or if if both of your parents have gone to be with the lord you have spiritual parents you have all kinds of representatives if i were you do something for your earthly parents that will provoke a blessing from them as you are going home now don't just go as a big man big man no money close heavens go and meet your parents mommy i don't have so much money but i made pepper soup for you i went round the city looking for bush meat that you like i found it ah really my daughter you mean bush meat okay god bless you ah mommy no i came with this one specially please pray for me what kept you and daddy for 50 years let that grace come your mother will look and say kneel down that's it i can guarantee you that prayer is not noise he said go and make me venison that i may bless you you don't bless without venison the foolishness of young people you stroll to anybody and they don't bless me you think it works like that was I, was it just because he was hungry it's a principle honor your father and your mother i'm telling you this is some of us this is what will break this joblessness these problems some of us you just need to go back home and say mommy i'm sorry for five years i have given you a lot of headache you people don't even like seeing me but i want to tell you that 
I got connected to a ministry and God has changed my life. I just want you to speak over my life. I don't have much, but I came with 100 Naira recharge card. They may have 10,000 Naira in their phone, but that 100 Naira is what will open you up. They will say, kneel down. Let me tell you, whether your father is a believer or not, if he speaks to you, it's an office. It will open your destiny. Are we together? You go back home and you see the people in your community loitering their life. Christmas is when people die from bike as a result of drinking. They learn how to ride bike during Christmas until they die from it. And you just sit down and say, look, three or four friends, let's see what we can do. One day, small program somewhere at the back of one football field. Put one speaker and the rest. Organize something, even if it's for the children. Instead of our little children dancing all this devilish dance that they start spoiling the hearts of these small children, gather them. Let them, even if it's biscuit and sopo or something, you have done something noble for the kingdom. And then take God on Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. You shall obey and serve me, and I will bless your bread and water. I will take sickness far away from you. There will not be barrenness in your life, and your days I will prolong. Lord, I served you during this break. I come for the blessings that follow service. Are you ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be. spirit and seal the remaining part of this year seal the remaining part of this year go ahead and pray Counsel that I should experience for 2017 and is still lagging in my life. The remaining days that we have, I think we should have about 20, maybe about 16 more days. Am I right? 16 days is too much for God to do a fearful miracle. Open your mouth and release your faith. Move, oh God. Move, oh God. In 16 days. You can still confirm your word concerning my life. <speaking in Spanish> You are the miracle worker. You are the way maker. Make a way for me. You are the destiny. 
can still give me the job. You can still give me the promotion. I can still recover everything that was lost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to pray a very serious prayer right now. Most of us are going back maybe to spend a break with our loved ones or around. I'd like you to pray. When Jonah entered a boat, people started weeping and losing everything because one man in disobedience was in the boat. He made the boat unusually heavy and was about to capsize. But when the ark of God entered the house of a man called Obed Edom, without prayer in 90 days, three months, everything changed. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I am a living tabernacle. As I go home or wherever it is that I'll be going to, I represent your possibilities. I represent the act of God. Go ahead and pray. I go home to smash the works of darkness. Every activity of divination, every activity of darkness over my loved ones in the name of Jesus as I step my feet I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost the heavens are open unto me In the name of Jesus, I challenge every force. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't be tired of praying. I want us to challenge three demonic forces over our family. Listen. One is the spirit of sickness and infirmity. Two, the spirit of poverty and hardship. Three, the spirit of death. Lift your voice and curse them. Lift your voice and curse them. In the name of Jesus, I represent the government of heaven over my life and my family. I command the spirit of death. Take your hands off my loved ones. There will be no sound of mourning. In the name of Jesus, pray. I come against necromancy. I come against manipulations of the consolations to destroy the life of any one of my loved ones. They are covered. I lift the standard of the blood. I lift the standard of the blood. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. I lift the standard of the blood. No death, not by accident, not by terrorism. Not by plane crash. I cause sickness. I cause infirmity. I cause sickness. We cause cancer. We cause arthritis. We cause hepatitis. We cause every killer disease. Every terminal disease. Take your hands off our loved ones. spirits of poverty and hardship stealing resources from our loved ones causing conflict in homes Are you ready to pray? I'd like you to program favor that as I step out all through 
from now till January when I come back is going to be favor whether you have an uncle or not financial favor all kinds of open doors open your mouth and declare it create it I command favor in the name of Jesus I call for the help us for my family help us for my destiny Lord I receive I receive I receive all kinds of favor all kinds of favor favor men are rising men are rising in the name of Jesus favor hallelujah listen I want you to believe me we are rounding up but you see not many people in this life have truly encountered favor favor is an experience that happens once but the result continues without stop we are going to pray this prayer again listen the hardship in many of our families even salary will not cure it is that true there are some of us now if you get a job and you are giving your loved ones three three hundred thousand per month even after five years it will not solve the problem 15 people in the house only one person is working is earning twenty thousand that's a cost when i say favor i'm not saying look at your employer to give you one bag of rice or one of your rich uncle in america take your mind away from any man don't add faces your own is to just create with your words are you ready to pray for me and for my family lord surprise us surprise us before december 31st lord do something that has not been done a major dimension of favor pray no matter what kind you have seen provoke another provoke another in the name of Jesus I create it I call it for I call it for in my life I call it for in this ministry I call it for for my loved ones I call it for strange favor between now and 31st December strange favor hallelujah we'll soon round up I'd like you to pray listen one of the major reasons why there is trouble in our homes is because someone there has not given his life to Christ and therefore does not subscribe to the value system of the kingdom are you hearing what I'm saying now it is terrible to have someone in a family that does is has not given his life to Christ or is not interested in being passionate especially if they have authority over you because they will force you to stay in their mode you pray for 30 minutes they say are you the first to be born again I have been born again I like you to pray two things Lord massive encounters I like you to pray for your loved ones that don't know Jesus Lord this is this is the season they must encounter Jesus lift your voice and pray I pray for my brother I pray for my sister I pray for my father I pray for my mother I pray for my uncle I pray for my step siblings pray pray tired of the challenges that their lack of encountering Christ is bringing to us financial troubles spiritual troubles they continue to become doorways and portals through which darkness comes in to destroy and invade give them an encounter give them 
visions. Give them dreams. In the name of Jesus, break their pride, oh God. Give them solid encounters. Encounters with your power. Change them. Change them. Change them. Some of them have vowed that they will never give their lives to Christ. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, in your majesty, prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Hallelujah. One last prayer and then we're done for tonight. Listen, all these prayer points I'm giving you, when you go back, pray them. Especially this prayer of salvation. I can tell you this with the little experience I have counseling families 90% of the problem is that there is someone who is comfortably a gateway for Satan to destroy people notice how Satan does it in every family he must search for somebody one bad boy one bad girl or maybe our fathers our mothers everyone tries to press into God you just hear that police are calling you go to the police station they will tell you they've caught your brother stealing a laptop. The bill is 400,000. And before you know it, the money you have saved, that's a devourer. A devourer. All this stealing you see young people do, especially all these young guys, steal something shamefully, come and put their parents in trouble. The money that should be the school fees of five people, you have to take it and go and settle police. It's the devil. What about the young boys that have not reached age of driving? They smuggle out a car and go somewhere, an expensive car they just bought with their friends. Get drunk and smash the car. These are all the skimmings of darkness. Many parents today are almost dying of depression because of the stubbornness of their children a lady jumps the fence and disappears one week nobody has seen her they are all afraid they start contacting the police paying money and then she strolls in after eight days and say why are you looking for me it's the devil a smart young gentleman about to graduate they will go and find him under the gutter because he went for a, a nonsense party christmas party that is the birth of Jesus Christ. Drinks to stupor and the friends strip, strip him of phone and everything and they leave him on the ground. They come and carry him in the morning, arrest him in the police station and the whole family spends Christmas going to the station. I'd like you to say the devil is a liar. I'm, I'm showing you these are the things in, in many families. Satan does not want to see everybody rising. You see a gentleman, the only graduate, and because he's a giver, a wicked accident will happen and just destroy both of his legs. Or one kind of devilish sickness where there will be chemotherapy or something that is eating over 70 to 100,000 per week. In six months, it has dried the finances of the family. He said, I will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower you have to be watchmen when you are at home don't see things happen and join everybody cry you know what to do go and lock yourself and say lord this cannot continue to be this is the confidence that i have in you whenever i call you this is the confidence that I have in you whenever I call you. This is my confidence, Lord.
to pray for your loved ones. Say, Lord, from here, let this unction lead to their homes. Make sure you are praying. Call them by name. Call them by name. They are not as anointed as you are. Standing for them. Call them by name. Call them by name. Say, Lord, for my sister. Call them by name. Your name must answer to them. Kata balata, rata barikata, leke borosotaya. Call them by name. Say, I release an unction to my home. I release angels. Lord, as you are doing it here, do it there. As for me and my house, and my house. Pray for them. Lagos, Abuja, Maiduguri, Bauchi State, Yobe, Zamfara, Koki, wherever. Do a miracle, oh God. Do a miracle, oh God. I know you will do it. I know you will do it. Raise the dead. Change their status. Hallelujah. Now, Hallelujah. There's someone that had been on my mind. Even while I was traveling back today, I was thinking about the person. He came all the way from, I think, Yobe, Saleh. Where is he? Please come. The Lord will begin with you tonight. ushers position yourself inside and outside because there will be a rain in this place hallelujah listen you will be set free where did you come from please technical can you help us where did you come from Bauchi State. Okay, from Bauchi. Yes. I want you to know that God will do a miracle in your life. Amen. You believe that? Yes, I believe. You came full of faith. Yes. The Lord will set you free right now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That devil. Come out of him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. I set you free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Listen. Please. I want to see those who have heart conditions. You came here. Hear me outside, please. We don't have time to waste we are not going to have to mention cases individually but when when we call your case please run out we are going to pray and see as far as God want to finish fast so that we will end quickly heart conditions leave your seat and come out here quickly either a hole in the heart or an abnormal heart formation quickly quickly appreciate them as they line up here ushers coordinate them heart conditions please come and line up here quickly that devil is a liar. Heart condition. Growing up, they told you you have a heart condition. Come out and line up here. 
Come out and line up here. No matter how old you are or how young you are. Please line up. Line up. Straight line. Line up. Usher, direct them, help them. Hallelujah. As you're standing here, I'd like you to wait by bye to it. Because I know the unction of the spirit is here. God will set you free. Baba, God will set you free, sir. And everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, sirs, we'll minister quickly. We'll just minister to them. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, there is an unusual unction in this place. As hands are laid on you. Hallelujah. Return back thanking the Lord and check. If you are still seated in the crowd and you know you have a heart condition, don't sit back there. God wants to change your story. Hallelujah. There's someone who has an unusual palpitation. I don't know what it is. You, the way you, the way you breathe. Sometimes it's literally holding you and choking you. You are the one. Look at me. Because it's a devil of darkness. Your own is not just sickness. Look at me. In the name of Jesus. I command that devil of darkness. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let her go. 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 You are a devil of darkness. Come out. Come out. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Come. My sister, you too. Come. Some of you that are standing, as hands are laid, you will find out that it was in sickness. My dear, God will set you free right now. Because your own is an oppression. Look at me. Are you, are you listening to me? There is a devil that has oppressed this girl. You will go. 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 Go in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Greater than any other name. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing a dark object coming out of you. Come out of her now. Sister, look at me. I'll pray for you. God will set you free. You believe that? Now thou foul devil, let this girl go round by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! 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 Let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I say, you won't hide. Come on, I see you in the spirit. Go out of her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Janka, please. Minister Jakes, Bishop, let's begin to... As they lay hands, they will speak to your life. Don't just think they are laying hands. Hallelujah. Please stand. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. As hands are laid, begin to pray while you're standing. Out of him now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed now. I curse that devil of darkness. Go. 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 Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her. Right, devil of darkness. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Let him go. Let him go now. Let him go. Let him go. Go. Be healed. Sister, I curse that devil. Because I also see oppression in your sleep. That demon of darkness. Go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be made whole right now. Be made whole. Oh, God is not done with you. God is not done with you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. As you go back to your seat, check yourself. Be healed right now. Be healed right now.
be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come out of her now come out of her come out of her by the fire of the Holy Ghost out of her right now in the name of Jesus what's wrong be made free right now in the name of Jesus be free right now in the name of Jesus Set your free. Set free right now. From every oppression. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, only outside, not inside. All of you outside, lift your hands. Not those inside. Please, those inside. Lift your hands, those outside. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. The fire of God will terminate the works of darkness. So many of you are under influences of the devil. Hallelujah. Only those outside. At the count of three, as you shout, the power of God comes upon you. One. Two, three. Let the fire fall. I curse devils. I curse demons. Go, go, go. Bring them in, ushers. Go, go. Let the fire fall. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire fall all across the building. Outside. All across. Fire is falling. Those outside. One more time. Those outside. Shout Jesus. In power, move in power at the back, outside at the back, move in power, move in power. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost outside, the fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost outside. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The Outside. God is not gone. Lift your hands. I release fire. 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 Take it. Take it outside. Take it outside. For this purpose, was the Son of God. Then I see two ladies sitting in the same row outside. The fire of God comes upon you now. Right now. That oppression over your life. Two ladies 
sitting in the same row. Look at me. We've not finished, so we've not finished. If it's possible, if it's possible, the ministers are going to separate themselves into three and walk across the crowd outside. No devil will survive today. Brother, I see a serpent, not a man. Come out of him now. Out of him now. That devil of darkness. Come out of him. Come out of him. I see a snake, not a man. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. Fire I'm seeing a snake, not a human being. You see the way he's behaving? Look at what he's doing. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Leave him, leave him, go. Go, go, go. As you touch me, you touch fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of him. He must be free. Come out of him. Come out of him now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Out, out, out. Out. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Hold on. I set you free. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave him. Look at, he's free. Look up. Look at this gentleman. Someone who came oppressed of the devil. Brother, you are free in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pick him up. Stand up, my brother. Look at, see, he's even surprised. Look at. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at me. Look at me. Do you know when you came out here? Where were you? You came outside. Help me with the mic. What's your name? Samuel. Eh? Samuel. Where are you coming from? Danaka. Look at this guy. Outside. He doesn't even know that he's here. Look at him surprised, looking at everybody. The Lord perfect you and set you free. Where was the lady you were praying for? Pray, this lady. See, I see an old woman. That's what I'm seeing. Turn this lady. I see a very old woman. Come on now, come out of her. Come out of her, you're not done. Come out of her. Come out now. She laid down as though it's done. You are not done. You are spiritual people here. Out of her now. Out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her right now. That foul devil. In Jesus' name. Leave her alone. She's free. Look at. What's wrong with this woman? Who brought her? Please, if you brought someone, make sure you stand close to the person. Who brought mama? Who are you? Come. 
Well done. What's her name? Lydia. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past three years now. For the past three years. Look at. She had dislocation. She had what? Dislocation on her shoulder. She could Since when? Mama, she can she talk? Yes, I can. Mama, talk. how are you? I'm well. Well done, eh? What's the issue? Oh, this hand now is dislocated. Yes, it was since December last year. December? Uh, that I went to the toilet on my way coming back. You see, you always, like you always know the signature of Satan when you see it. I'm not so, teaching you to be demon conscious. I'm just I telling just you that. Myself sitting on the ground. You did what? I said on my way coming back. I found my on the way from the toilet. Yes. How old are you, Mama? I'm 51. 51. I found myself sitting on the ground. You not found that, yourself sitting on the ground. I, that, I don't know it, uh, it happened. Not that I fell down flat. So. And okay, come. You are her daughter. Let, let her talk. I was taken to a students that is not stroke because immediately it happened. My left hand and left leg seized. Your and left I, leg right now is not moving. No, it's moving. What of your right hand? The what right, is wrong with that, it? No, nothing happened. It's only the left leg and the left hand that seized immediately. Then I was rushed to the hospital. So the bleeding will stop. No, and, no. The case of the bleeding is different from. I was taken to the hospital. That it was cancer of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Yes. You still have it. Yes. It's going to go. This is what so, I'm saying. That it was not stroke. That it was partial stroke. It was what? Partial stroke. Partial stroke. Then, the following, day, I was in the hospital for two weeks. I, I, know, I told them the doctor that I want him to discharge me. I want to go for prayer. So I went to, for prayer in Nosarawa State. So, the, the following day, in, in the prayer house... It's I time move, for you I to move, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her now. Out of her now. Now, in the name of Jesus. That devil. Out of her now. Fire on you. Fire on you. In the name of Jesus. Fire upon you. Go, go, go. Go. Sorry, Mama. So, I moved my leg. So, I... Okay, what, what, is, what, okay, so what is wrong with you right now? What, what did no, you come with right the now? Of the womb. Cancer it's of the womb. Cancer of the womb. Bleeding. Then. Your the, hand. The hand. These are the two conditions. Now that I fell down flat, so I discovered that I have dislocation on my shoulder. So. Okay, it's all right. The hand has been fixed locally, but up to now I couldn't move the hand. But I will pray for you. I'll pray for you. Yes. All right. Can you feel my hands? Can you feel my hands? Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My God, do wonders in this hand right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Perfect this hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. That devil of darkness, your hold is taken from my hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. fingers yes. every pain go i command it to go you are of the spirit of darkness i challenge you try lifting it up lift both of your hands up try it just try lifting your hands up can you try lifting it up in the name of jesus you feel pains you feel pains where your shoulder By the power of the Holy Spirit, begin to move it more. In the name of Jesus, begin to move it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. Start moving it. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil. I curse that devil. Can you wind your hand? Try and wind this hand. Just look at me. Look at me.
Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood. I'm seeing someone that coughs out blood. You cough all the time. You cough out blood. Please hurry up. You cough out blood. Literally. Who is the person? Inside. Are they hearing me outside? Quickly. If you identify that person, let the person come. You cough out blood. Literally. Come out. Please clear the way for them. at oppression this is what i'm seeing come on now get out of her out of her now out of her now out of her in the name of jesus out of her now out of her now devil of darkness i curse you by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus not only this lady but the members of her family have been oppressed Lay your hands on her chest. In the name of Jesus, I curse that power of darkness. Be free. Totally. Now. In the name of Jesus. Since when? For the past two weeks. For the past two weeks. Have you gone to the hospital? Can I pray for you? You believe Jesus will lay your hands on your chest. You will feel a fiery sensation upon your chest right now. Now you hear my voice. Let her go. Go! Go! Hallelujah. Those of you inside, lift your hands. I'm going to ask the cymbal to clash and the string play. Listen, when that happens, the fire of the spirit will move across anyone here under any oppression of darkness you must go this is not a negotiation hallelujah lift your hands at the count of three begin to clash the cymbal one two three Kashatabata. go 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 Go, 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 I scratch my head by the power of the spirit. Devils go. Satan be exposed. Satan be exposed. For this purpose was the Son of God. Satan be exposed. Light shine. I release fire. 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 fire upon this congregation. Fire. 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 Fire upon you. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Fire. 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 You can't stand it. No devil can stand it. Fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire! 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 Fire!
The fire is burning. The fire is burning. You can't stand it. Satan, go. It's time for God's people to go. It's time for destinies to be open. It's time for what has made you to cry to end. Bring them out. Hey, I see you in the spirit. Leave her. Leave her. Go. 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 I see you in the spirit. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are free in Jesus' name. Bring me a mic. I do these things to teach you a lesson. Madam, stand up. No, 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 not her. Not her. You are a devil of darkness. For how do you think you can hide in the presence of God's light? Look at me. Bring the mic for me. You are not gone completely, oh. You are a devil of darkness. Out of her now. On your mark, get set, go. Go, 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 go. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. As you touch me, you touch fire. As you touch me, you touch the fire of the spirit. It make it is out of her now. Out, 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 out. Come out of her now. She's free. In the name of Jesus. It will not stand fire from my hands to your head. If I be a servant of God, you stand around fire in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. This woman's destiny has been tied down. Lord, who is the person? Let the fire of God catch up with the person right now. God shows me this room. There's one person. With my hands. Let the fire of the spirit separate that person. Now. 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 Stand up, madam. Don't feel embarrassed. Calm down. Hallelujah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. See, this woman has suffered. You just see someone walking. 
things are not going right people speak all kinds of grammar and satan is advancing mama please come Jangfa is going to speak to you i sense please mama you are free take her outside i see her coughing whatever please take her outside for god's sake so we don't litter this place take her outside i don't know if it's poison or whatever it is that she took take her outside You're still not out. Go out, go out, go out now. Out, go out. Go out in the name of Jesus. Go out of her. Go out of her. Come. Place your hand on this lady's chest. Out of her. Come out of her now. I release fire upon you. Foul devil. Out of her. Patata tata da kapa. Rakata posa tali. Rekete kete kete. Le gronto zopo rotata. Riata la kosiama. Alright, your reign in this life is over. On your mark, set, go. 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 Go, 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 you can't stand it. Go, go, go. I prophesy to you today, after today, your life will begin to move as if Satan does not exist. Are you listening to me? Every oppression, those outside hear me. Every oppression challenging your family through the greatness of the power that is in the name of Jesus, that challenge will bow. Don't let her go, bring her back. Come, sweetheart. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm seeing your father's face on your face. Look at my eyes. Just look. For she will go free. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Right now, you and the spirit of death upon her get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Up your heads, O oh ye gates, be ye lifted, O oh ye ancient doors, and the King of Glory will come in. in Jesus' name, you're free. Come, Mama, bring that lady who is falling. See, tonight, many of you, you will go back rejoicing. He who has the Son, has it all. We have the Son, 
So we are Lay your hands on our stomach. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. What is it? Cancer. Who said so? The doctors. Lay your hands there. Lay. Kisa, interpreter. Selina. Where is she? She's walking. Tell her Jesus. Okay. Okay. Tell her Jesus Christ is going to heal her right now. See, she's crying. See. Tell her Jesus will heal her now. Is she looking at you? Look at her. Tell her, Mama. Jesus will heal you. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can't sleep. It's the night. I can't breathe. Look at this. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's mother. of you outside, I want you to know that Jesus is in this place. There is someone I need in this room. The devil has oppressed you. And the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, come out. Two of you, all of you in this room, lift your hands. That devil is a liar. As I, I shout the name of Jesus, the fire of God will come. People, please let me in the mighty name of Jesus, I release fire right now. My father, locate those two people right now in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God fall, fall, fall. Two of them, two of them. There's one already, two of them. Fall. Shatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
fire upon you fire upon you in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of you are not done out 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 until he's completely free out little girl be free I separate you with this spirit go 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 time up time up this lady is heavily oppressed out of her out devil of darkness you came for koinonia you're welcome out of her in the name of jesus stand up pick him up fire on you right now it's time it's time it's time you must go go bring him you must go this lady has been so tight now listen i need to explain something to you please follow me it's not the people listen it doesn't mean they are possessed with demons are you listening to me so get that clear so that you don't carry your big mouth and start talking stories around there are three levels of manifestation of Satan. Some of them are acutely possessed with demons. Some of them, devils influence their lives and destinies. So the fact that they are manifesting like they are possessed does not mean they are possessed. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why they don't even know. Pick him up. Kai, this guy has been so oppressed of the devil. This lady has dreams and she meets with people. Go out of her. Go out of her. Just let him, let him lie down when he's ready to stand up. This guy is so weak. He doesn't even know that he has been under all kinds of bondages of Satan. Who prayed? Let me pray for you. Mama, you believe Jesus has authority over cancer? You do? Because he's going to go. Oh yes, it will go. Hmm? There your hand is there. See, I, I'm touching it. It's looking like a stone. Out of her! Out of her! Out of her! Devil of darkness is not cancer, it's a spirit. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. Go out of her now. He was the son, has eternal life. Hallelujah. Mama, who brought Mama out? Eh? I said, who is Grace? Oh, I was actually talking about some. Bring the man or the wheelchair and on crutches. Let him come and stand here. Please, if we have not called your case, don't just come out. We'll give room for that. But let him stand. Sir, please, can you come and minister to this woman for time's sake? Bring him here. Sir, you're welcome. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Accident. On which leg? This leg. What's wrong with the leg? Operation. Operation. Yes. They did surgery and it's not working. You want to walk? Yes. You believe Jesus will set you free? Clear the way for him. He was the son. The name of the Lord Jesus look at me you believe in Jesus Christ can you walk without with it are you feeling pains yes. where what of this leg look at me in the name of the Lord Jesus 
I set you free. I command your leg to straighten out in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Walk. Come, follow me. Follow me. Can you walk? Try it. Just take a step and see. What's wrong with the legs? It's heavy. Ah, where? But can you bend it like this? Try and bend it. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? God is healing you. Keep moving it. Move it. Move it. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Move it. Move it. Now move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Move it like this. Can we try and walk now? Hold this one. Hold my hands. Walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Try and match it down. Is it because of the metal? There's a metal inside his leg. So it's limiting him from walking. Hallelujah. So they must remove the metal. They can't, oh, they put it here permanently. Lord, let this metal become his bones. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let this metal Amen. melt away. Ministers move across the crowd. We don't have time. Go ahead. Okay, Jamfa is already ministering. Some people outside just move and minister to people. Join them, Kenny. Someone should take on this role. Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. Pastor, sir. Yes. Vivian. Who is Vivian? A fair lady called Vivian. No, no, a fair lady called Vivian. The Lord is showing me a fair lady called Vivian. Vivian. Sister, stand up. Look at me. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Thou foul devil. Go! 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 In Jesus' name. Be set free. Leave alone. Vivian. What's wrong with you? Eh? People come to you and oppress you in a dream. Is that correct? Do you know me? Have, you, have I talked with you before? You want to be free? You'll be free right now. John, it's time for you to enter God's plan and purpose for your life. Are you listening to me? Because you are not supposed to be a photographer. Are you listening to me? You are supposed to have gone far beyond this level. God didn't just bring you to Koinonia to snap. Please take the, photo, the camera. Victor can snap, so be doing it in the interim. You believe what I'm telling you? Uh -huh, because I see that how many people drink in your family? Tell the truth and shame the devil. How many? Two people, sir. You and who? I don't drink, sir. Again, yes, sir. you used to drink. Yes, sir. Have you stopped yes, sir. completely? Yes, sir. Praise God. But the Lord will set you free. Hmm? Because in your family, women. Uh -uh. You believe that? Yes, eh? See, let me tell you the truth. This is not your destiny in Christ. This happened as a result of frustration. Is that correct? Many things. Cool. Didn't work. Many things happened. Even why you don't even have your complete result. Is that true? 
Help me. Is that true? That's true. God will set you free. Hallelujah. You believe that? I want to speak into your destiny and call it forth into where God wants you to be. That devil is a liar. Come out of him now. Come out of him. I release your glorious destiny. The days of oppression are over. Rise up beyond the photographer. Become the leader and the entrepreneur that God has destined for you to be. See, listen. It's not that this guy is lazy. Yo. I hope you know that. It's not that he's lazy. Ella, come. Abigail, come. Wumi, come. Three of you, come and stand here. For the sake of your families, the time has come. Out of her. Come out of her now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. A devil of darkness. Out now. Now. Shatata rata. Reketele mo subariata. Brento capriata laka. Rakata baba baba baba. Out. Out. Fire upon you. Setele ke pariata. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Fire. 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 Be set free. Right now in the name of Jesus. You have a glorious destiny. No devil will hold you down. In the name of Jesus. Lawful captives be free. I release you. That devil of temper and anger. Go. Go. I command you be free. The plague of death over your family. Go. 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 I, come in, I command that terminal disease. Now it's time. Time up. Time up. You are a devil. Go in the name of Jesus. Be free. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That devil cannot stand. Fire upon you. It's time to be free. Time to be free. Time to be free. Leave her. Let her go. This lady has suffered too long. You've held her destiny down. Go in the name of Jesus. again come I stopped praying for you for a reason please take this guy up this gentleman look at me see comings do you know that your life listen listen I saw upon this guy the spirit of Cain and I didn't know what it was. He was lying down there. That was why I walked there and laid my hands upon. You know the curse that was upon Cain? Bring them out. God is not done with them yet. You know the curse that was upon Cain? He said he won't die, but he will be a wanderer. This is how this guy's life has been. Today you are in Lagos. Tomorrow you are here. Next tomorrow you are this. It's time for your freedom. Free you. He was the son, has the time. My dear, come and stand here. Yes. Come and stand here. Birthday girl, you are the one who celebrated your birthday yesterday. You're welcome. We are going to pray and minister to people. The ministers, are, sir, you, you are done? Ah, please pray, oh. Please take time and speak into their lives. I beg you. These people came to receive. Ministers, go around, please. Prophesy to them. Where's Jamfa? Jakes, please. Please move around. Where are the people I called out now? My dear, you know, the devil wants to make your life a waste. So you are moving, but you are not accomplishing anything. 
But the Lord loves you. And tonight the eye of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, let this lady be free from every oppression of darkness. In the name of Jesus, be free. I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at me. I'm seeing you pregnant. Drive every useless man out of your life. Are you listening to me? I'm not saying you are pregnant now. I'm saying I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, not physically. Hallelujah. Praise God. So don't, please, kick any man who wants to come and talk grammar around you. Because I'm seeing that you are going to three countries. Number one, South Africa. Huh? Number two, UK. Number three, Canada. These three countries. The Lord is taking you there. Hold on. But then I see a lot of resistance rising up from wherever. I may not be able to talk all this with you because we're in the presence of people. But I want to pray for you. It's time. See, three things will happen. One, a passion for God you cannot recover from. The ministers are ministering to people around. While they are that devil, let me tell you, cast out every devil, prophesy, release people to their prophetic destinies. Let her go. Go! Go! Time up, thou devil of darkness. Be free now. Be free now. I command that wicked spirit. Depart from your life. Fire right now all over your body. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. All over you. Right now. Leave her, let her go. For she shall not be called Jabez. That's what the Lord says I should say. Because you were born in sorrow, you will not be called Jabez. Tonight I enlarge your coast in the spirit. My dear, look at me. From today, you will walk into your prophetic destiny. See, you don't know what it is that has happened to you now. Even you, you cannot answer. But look at me. You are a very good girl. Are you listening to me? But you are assuming the character of another person. Tonight, the Lord sets you free. This lady is a wonderful lady beyond your imagination. But sometimes, you see her doing things that even her does not know. Because I see the spirit of anger and rage. I mean rage almost to kill somebody. But the Lord sets you free. And this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing you move from the side. And you are climbing a ladder. And the Lord says restore. This is what I prophesy. Restore. This is what will begin to happen to you. Restore. Hallelujah. If I... Ifai, hearing the name Ifai, Ifai, who is Ifai? Ifai, now, if you brought someone for healing from outside Zaria, quickly bring them forth, quickly, we have to round up, quickly, please bring them. If you invited someone, no matter how far you are outside, bring the person, sir, come. It's time for the Lord to set you free. Not only in your health, but on every area of your life. You believe that? Hold my hands. Both of your hands. All right now, I speak to you. I open up that door. I challenge the works of darkness. Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. 
One, two, three. The Lord perfects you. Who brought this man? What's wrong with him? Bring them forward. He has what? His sight. He used to be bigger than this. But what happened? Because I'm seeing something like a rock upon his head. Who is Silvanus? Sir, does he drink? Who is your friend that drinks? He's drinking. You need to get him born again and serious with God. Right? I want to pray for you right now. Your weight will come back. Your life will be restored. And your eyes, you will begin to see clearly. Hallelujah. Hey, Stephanus. Silvanus. From where? From Haido Road. From where? Haido Road. Eh? I A U. Hein Dogo. Ah, okay. You are born again. You love Jesus Christ. But you won't do ministry the way you are planning. You will start afresh with God. Alright? So disable all those man of God things. You will start afresh. Primary one, two, three, four, five. God will anoint you. Right? I'm going to pray for you. You believe what I'm saying. And leave all your friends who are deceiving you. Huh? You are going to be a great man, but you are not yet that man, so you will stay in the school of the spirit. Hmm? These teachings that you people jump and pride over, they are basic things in the spirit. Let God work with you. From today, you begin a new journey. Hold my hands. Lord, put a fire upon him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A new beginning, fresh start. Just breathe in and out as deep as you can. In and out. Baba, be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Who brought him? He came on his own. What's wrong with you? Migraine. Put your hands on your head. Lay it. But you will first set you free. Then you will begin a walk with him. Any appetite and anything that does not belong to him will give way. You will be surprised what you will begin to do in your life. Okay? Look at me. What am I doing? One leg in. Where is the other leg? Why? Because this is how your life is. It's time for you to love him with every passion. Hmm? So I break everything that is not of God in the realm of the spirit. Let the fire of God take over. Take over your life. Take over her life. Foul spirit, let her go. Lord, anoint her and use her. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Please do it quickly. Someone help her. Lift up your hands. I look to you.
I saw the sun rising over your family. And then I heard this song. I will wait for you. Jesus. You're the sun in my The days of oppression are over. You are standing on behalf of your family. Something is happening to your father right where I'm holding. The Lord is setting him free. Today the Lord is giving you the mantle that was upon your mother. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Because as I look at you I see her face. And the Lord says I should tell you to run with the spirit of power. Whatever you decree will happen. The Lord will establish you and you will be a mother indeed. That all your times of tears will be taken away by a new joy. Take this message to your father. For the Lord visits your family tonight. What was I doing? Okay, the ministers are still... Okay, those that are around, Pastor Williams is here. Just, if the ministers are ministering, let them continue. But those that are around, even if it's just me and Pastor Williams, please, let's pray on the request. After we pray on the request, I'm going to begin to move prophetically and speak. This is the time you will receive. Are you listening to me? Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray in tongues. Bishop. your hands shabala bara do krasta bara bara rata kata prata kada bala bash paro kaprande pradeshita do miracles oh god mare kata bala bash solve every problem here oh god and for all our facebook twitter Egyptians, you see them no more. These 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 Egyptians. You are conquered. Whatever is conquered here is conquered. All over this country and around the world, we release testimonies, miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, by your spirit, Lord, by your hand, Lord, by your spirit. Lord, by your great power, let there be miracles on this request. Miracles, supernatural miracles, terminate sicknesses, terminate diseases, never to return. Creative miracles in the name of Jesus. All supernatural jobs, supernatural wisdom, let it be done by your spirit. Miracles by your spirit. Supernatural miracles by your spirit. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason why I sing. I found a reason. Lift your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. I 
I want you to receive every prophetic word because the creative power of God is going to swing into motion. The creative and prophetic power. Lift your hands. As I pray, I'd like you to shout a loud amen with your spirit. Hallelujah. Right now. Doors of delay. I command you. Be opened in the name of Jesus. Delay. Be gone. Delay. Be gone. Delay, delay in marriage, delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage, every academic bondage. In the name of Jesus, be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it. Academic bondage. I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold restoration. Sevenfold. Sevenfold, not one fold, not two fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service year or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job between today and the middle of April, I command fearful supernatural jobs in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every womb called Barry, I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not right now in nine months time you will celebrate miracle children be open every barren womb be open hallelujah every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands on every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because i see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families i see miscarriage of children every plague of death i command it to pass over you forever in the name of jesus He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above, I call you in the realm of the spirit, rise up in the name of Jesus. Rise up a new level of prosperity. 
a new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are favor 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 every terminal disease in this place HIV cancer in the name of Jesus we terminate it once and for all be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus SS AS we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing guard up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ captivity ends in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk to it and move forward in their life I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the Egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an Egyptian as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them I release signs wonders I release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names I command it to multiply my brother stand here bring this lady come this is what I'm demonstrating to you what I saw in the spirit that God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life. 
May the Lord take you where your gift will be needed. May the Lord take you where your gift. I command demand upon your oil. Demand. Prophetic demand. Re kotosata. Ma re kete. Re toria. Ma bratadi. E krekete le 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 le. Boso prege le 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 ba. Bratosata. I command. Every uncompleted family project. Every uncompleted family project. The Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit. And I pray that between now and the next 21 days, I command angels of help. I release it to your families. Receive it. Receive it. Help. Help is coming. Zion's help. The helper of Zion. Move across families. Move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives, between today and the next 21 days, you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I impart spiritual gift upon you. At the count of seven, let fresh fire fall upon everybody. Every one, two, three. My God, do it. I see angels. Four, five, six. There it is. Come on. Take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, outside, take it, take it, take it, in the name of Jesus, take it, take it, take it, fire, the prophetic, the apostolic, evangelistic teaching mantles pastoral graces leadership entrepreneurship I fire it into your spirit Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it the Lord gives you a new name whatever you came here for whatever request you brought I command go back with a testimony go back with a complete testimony whatever you came here with go back with a testimony in the name of Jesus and every one of you who came from far and near to catch a fire and catch an anointing go back with that fire 
Go back and reproduce these things. And even greater. Receive it. Receive it. Jesus now listen the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish listen to me everybody inside and outside you're here and you've been struggling with your life the Lord has been speaking to you you know that now is the time to make it right with the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to me, I will in no wise cast away. He said, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. You've never made this decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially many of you outside. Tonight is your night. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is saying, How long? Will you run away when I have a better life for you? When I can save you from eternal condemnation and lead you to the path of grace? Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. Please, as you hear my voice, do not harden your heart. Hallelujah. At the count of three, inside and outside, I want you to leave your seat and rush out here. The Lord is calling you. You've not given your heart to the Lord. Leave your seat. They are coming. Appreciate them. Right now, leave your seat. Come right to the front. Clap for them. They are coming. Thank you, Jesus. You need to make it right to the Lord. Come out. Or you've been born again once, but you've derailed. Don't stay outside. No matter how far you are, find your way to the front. Forget about your friend. Please run quick. Quick, quick, do it fast. Keep clapping, Koinonia. Thank you, Lord, for a harvest. Don't sit back. There are still more people outside. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Don't wrestle with him. Sister, brother, the time has come. There are still more people I see outside. Keep coming. We'll wait for you for one minute. Keep coming. No matter what you've done, there is a fresh start. Celebrate them. The devil is a liar. He will not hold you back. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Keep coming. You're welcome. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for making this decision. Hallelujah. I like to pray for you. I like to lead you to Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter how far and how long you have gone. The Lord can give you a new start tonight. Are you listening to me? The Lord can give you a new start tonight. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. No matter how far you have gone. Lift your right hand to heaven and say after me, Lord Jesus. Mean it from your heart. This is not a Bible recitation. Lord Jesus, I come before you acknowledging you as my Savior. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. Today, I receive the gift of salvation. Come into my heart. Give me a new start. In the name of Jesus. I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. Make me a new person. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. From today. Forward ever. Backward never. The things I used to do. I'll do them no more. Because Jesus is Lord. Of my life. Father. Father commend these ones to you. They have come out to make a genuine decision because they love you and they acknowledge you. My God, I pray that their salvation be genuine. 
And I pray that from today, you begin a walk in their lives. I command that you are free from every challenge you used to go through. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let peace return to your heart. Holy Spirit, I commend you to this one. This is the assignment you have given on earth. I pray that you do great things in their life. In the name of Jesus, my brother, you are the one who drove me one time. The Lord will begin to do great things in your life and even in your family for this great decision you have made. In the name of Jesus, appreciate them in Jesus' name. Now, in one minute, I'd like you to follow the elder. I said the elders. Follow the ushers. Hallelujah. And they'll be able to have your details and will follow you up. When, sir? Jakes. Monday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, what time? Tomorrow, 7 p.m. on the dot. Please be at chapel. Pastor Jakes will be following you up. We'll have foundational teachings that will bring to guide you and you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ah, okay. The small ones, please. The very young ones, you're welcome. You can come by 4 p.m., all right? So that you are not roaming around 4 p.m. If you have to explain to your parents, please tell them you got born again. And if you need, if your parents want to talk to any of the ministers to so confirm, no problem. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, follow the ushers. God bless you. Appreciate them. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time of attending this glorious meeting called Koinonia. I'd like you to leave your seat and jump out quickly. Quickly. Appreciate them. Come on, Koinonia. There are many people outside. We celebrate you. Come on. Koinonia celebrates you. Give them a big welcome. If there's anybody sitting close to you who is coming for the first time, ask the person to come out. We have a blessing for you. Keep clapping. Wow. Keep clapping. They are coming. Please hurry up. Hurry up. Make way for them. Ushers, direct them. Thank you. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming. Keep coming. There's still space for you. There's still space. We acknowledge you and we want to tell you thank you for coming. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia. Put together by Eternity Network International. We thank God for what he's doing in our midst. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. You will go back and meet fearful testimonies. I assure you, you will know you met God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. We truly celebrate you for making our time and the sacrifice to come here. Hallelujah. We are here every Friday building the word and helping us to understand the Holy Spirit and walk in partnership with him. We want to pray for you and prophesy upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands upon them. Listen, we are anointed. So if we pray for you, believe it, it will happen in your life. Father, we pray that you bless them. Anoint everyone. May the Lord give you a testimony that will confirm that you met God tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you a testimony. Come out of her now. Out. Now. Out of her. Come out of her. Your testimony starts. Come out. Out of her now. now. Devil, come on. Out. Out of her. Come out of her. Shelakata barana kataya. Deke preteke barata kalande. Out. Out. Shatabakata kata balana kata. You have oppressed her for too long. She came for koinonia. Thou devil of darkness. Alright, your time is up. Go. Now. Fire upon you. Fire upon you. That demon of lust, leave her. Now. Now. In Jesus' name.
You're free. In Jesus' name. Pick her up. Sister, you have received a visitation from the Lord. For you would have gone back with the same problems you carried and brought here. But the Lord has visited you tonight. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. And for every one of you, don't you think we are playing when we are praying for you? We truly pray that you will go back with a testimony and an experience. That the things you used to do that are not consistent with the Lord, you will do them no more. Every bad relationship you came here with, we break it. You will go back, you won't find the other people again. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord connect you to destiny help us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And every bondage of Satan, we set you free from it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I'd like you to quickly follow the ushers. They'll have your details and we'll pray for you and follow you up. We are here every Friday. The Lord bless you. Keep coming and invite others in Jesus' name. Celebrate them and appreciate them as they go back. Let's take the following announcements very quickly and we're out of here. Presbyo Consults Nigeria presents the Real Entrepreneurs Forum. Hallelujah. How to start and grow your business, how to raise capital, why most entrepreneurs fail, and so on and so forth. This is a business meeting. The facilitators are Mr. Femi Bolaji, the CEO of Intact Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Francis Yusuf, CEO, Real Eagle Sprints, and Mr. Victor Mataya, CEO, Aspire Network. The date is tomorrow, 23rd of February. Saturday time is 9 p.m. The venue is Vet Multipurpose Hall. Watch out for the posters and please be there tomorrow, 9 a.m. in the morning. Hallelujah. This was put together by one of us. Please honor him and get blessed. Hallelujah. We are proud of this. Hallelujah. I think this is Isaac, right? That's Isaac. Hallelujah. We are proud to dedicate our new envelopes for mission and our school of ministry. Are you happy about that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We've made envelopes for our school of ministry and we've made envelopes for missions. So from today, anytime you're coming for Koinonia, hallelujah, as the Lord blesses you and as the Lord grants you grace, come prepared not only to give your offering but we'll drop the envelopes. We may not need to make any special call. You have your seed, whatever, from this night to sow into the school of ministry. These are arms of ENI. Hallelujah. The school of ministry is directed by Bishop Stan and the missions is directed by Jakes. Hallelujah, Pastor Jakes. So I'd like you to be part of what God is doing. Hallelujah. So every time you come from next week, inside and outside, we'll just drop the envelopes. You have your tithe, offering, and then appropriately just put in your seed there and we'll pray on it and speak into your life. I want to assure you that this house is fruitful ground. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, we are faithful with every money that comes and we use it for the reason why it was given. We dedicate this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for what you are doing in this house. We pray that everyone who will give for our school of ministry to raise and to train our students and to train generals in the spirit, my God, I pray that you will cause them to flourish and enjoy your blessings in the name of Jesus. And we pray for our mission, so God, as we visit hospitals, prisons, police centers, mission fields, and we supply welfare to many people, my God, I pray that whoever partners with this project will experience an open heavens. We dedicate this, it will only be used for the glory of the King. No man will be glorified but Jesus alone. We dedicate it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. From after the service, if you feel God is leading you the, em the envelope, don't go with them, please. You just come and we'll place them there and then you just drop your seed. House on the Rock Foundation 
Zaria presents Tehila Africa. A crazy African praise. The date is 28 February. Time is 10.30 p.m. Venue is Charity and Faith Missions. Ministering will be Steve Strings and many more. Dress code strictly traditional. Hallelujah. This is announcement from our School of Ministry. The closing date for the submission of the forms for ENI School of Ministry is next week Friday. Please listen carefully. Next week Friday will be closing for all the prospective students. And now the director has instructed that um, the fact that you have the form does not mean you, you are automatically a student. Hallelujah. And he said, you hold on with the school fees. We are going to go through um, a screening process and then we'll place the list. Am I right, sir? Bishop? Am I correct? Okay. Uh, by the grace of God, the Lord has granted us grace to secure a venue. We'll be using God's time for our school of ministry. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He granted it unto us free of charge. Absolutely free. Hallelujah. We thank God for it. Learn to celebrate what God is doing in the house. So please, the first of March, are there still forms? Okay, well, there are still forms. I understand that there are some of you, especially those who are from Kano and Mina. You can meet Bishop afterwards and you get it. And I know there was a pastor that told me you'll be around. Please wait and collect it for yourself and your pastors. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.